Welcome everybody to Rob's Metalworks. We are here busting our cherry at the Paper Tiger for one of our own. Briefly, great pleasure to welcome out of Austin the revered band called The Sword and have with me bassist Mr. Brian Ritchie. Sir, welcome to the program. It's great to have you and to be here supporting The Sword. Cool. Thank you so much, Rob. I really appreciate that. But definitely, you know, especially fans from Texas have kind of noticed that this, this new CD kind of represents a, a crossroads for the band. Something new is happening with the band. Uh -huh. Talk a little bit about that. Well, the, the record's called High Country, uh, and it is just an extension of what we have done, you know, thus far. Um, we've kind of been foreshadowing the moves that we made with this record for a while, and I think it's kind of easy to pick up now that, or pick up on now that we've done this record but yeah, we just, you know, we just did us, man. We're just having a good time and, and we did the record that we wanted to make. Kind of like uh, breaking paradigms of what, I guess, the, the people and even the band kind of thought the sword was, kind of new territory yeah. for the band. Yeah, we just wanted to see how far we could stretch and, and what that really meant for us. Never any apprehension like, oh, well, let's not sway too far. We might piss some people off. Well, no, I mean, you know, we figure that most people are either along for the ride or they're not. And uh, if they get it, that's great, and we welcome them. And if not, you know, we'll, we'll see them maybe next time around. Definitely, um, also, I, I came to know that um, probably one of the attributes um, that kind of helped a little of this transition along was that uh, it was more of a collaborative effort from the band rather than John kind of like taking the lead and solely and, and doing much of the writing uh, that Kyle also the other guitar player also came in and, and did some writing and, and the band as a whole kind of contributing more than in the past to to these new sword songs yeah um, I think that is just a uh, you know a product of, of the band being around as long as it has and just we all kind of come together as musicians and as songwriters and, and have our own little things and you know pieces of the the puzzle come so to together, speak huh? yeah yeah you know yeah so uh talk a little bit about musically i mean when fans are first listening uh to the cd uh high country what are what are they thinking i mean i kind of noticed right off the bat a, a lot more kind of sonic landscape I could hear new things every time I listen to the songs yeah. in the background. Yeah. Um, yeah, we just tried to make a really rad record, <laughs> you know, <laughs> just tried to, to do a great record and with great songs. And uh, we had a great guy named Adrian produce it. And he, you know, helped to produce that kind of texture that, that you're yeah. referring to. Um, He's a great guy and makes great sounding records and we, you know, we wanted to wheeze a little bit of his juice and we were able to. And, and the record's kind of been out uh, since August on, on Razor and Tie people out there. Uh, be sure to go and pick it up. Um, and it seems to have done, you know, really well. I mean, you guys, you know, for the lack of a better term, are like a top 40 band now. Uh, high Country at number 30. Still very high up there, you know, selling some units and obviously, you know, your fan base is, is going out there and getting the record. Uh, how important is that kind of stuff to you? Do you, do you care about that stuff at all? I mean, it, it, it's it's something that you can't avoid caring about in a way, you know, I think, you know, part of the aspect of being in a band is, you know, making and selling records. So it's kind of a huge deal, you know, you're, you're making music. And, and I'm sure a lot of people make music and just make music to make music, but... Um, you know, we're making music to make music and to make records, which also need to be then sold and, and, and bought yeah. by, by someone, hopefully. So Keeps the machine moving, huh? Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> so, uh, lyrically, let's talk about lyrically. Um, I dig this record. Uh, if, if there was a theme uh, for the record and the title, uh, High Country, what do you think that would be? Uh, uh, earthly? I, I had I'd heard that uh, John, when he initially started demoing some of these tracks, was out uh, in in nature. I guess he, he lives and resides out in kind of a, a rural area. Um, so I know he was bringing some of that into the table. Right, right. I think uh, things are a little more real world based rather than like, you know, fantasy based. And now uh, you guys are out there supporting the record. What's, and, and just about to end this 50-day tour. So you guys have been on the road, I think, since the beginning of October now. What's it been like? Uh, wild. 
a lot of fun. It's been a lot of great shows with a lot of great bands, and we've just been having a blast, man. It's been a good time. I've seen a, a lot of the footage and stuff that people are posting online. It seems like the shows are going down uh, pretty damn good. Yeah, I would say I would say that's correct. And it's great to have you back in Texas. Now you're you're back in your home state. It felt good crossing that state line today. <laughs> Not gonna lie. And uh, where were you driving in from? Was it was it El Paso? Uh, Oklahoma City. Oklahoma. Wow. Mm -hmm. So um, now, you know, obviously you guys are going to take a break for the holidays and stuff. What does 2016 hold for the band? Uh, more touring in March. We're going to do uh, Australia, I guess, and New Zealand. And then more United States touring. So March and... Non-stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we, we got this record. We got to try to sell that record. <laughs> so do you anticipate probably like touring all of 2016? I mean, as much as we can. Yeah. You know, hopefully after we would do our own tour, maybe we could try to line up some rad support tour of some sort. You know, you can't really predict these things, you know, like which awesome band can take us on the on tour, <laughs> you know. Like we're, we're fortunate to, to be good friends with Clutch and yeah. they always seem to throw us a bone at the right time. But uh, yeah, who knows what'll what'll happen this time around? I think one of the things that I'm excited about tonight is that uh, you guys are headlining the show tonight, so we're getting a full set. Yeah. Do you, you kind of prefer doing headlining or kind of being out there supporting, kind of getting in front of maybe some new faces? You know, e each of them have their, you know, their fun aspects. Yeah. You know, they're they're but and they're in kind of entirely different. The support deal, obviously, you know, you can be playing something as short as a 30 minute set, which, you know. That's tough to pick a set list, you know, that is just 30 minutes. And when we do a headliner, it's, you know, hour and a half, hour 45 sometimes. So we kind of pad it out with, you know, a lot of songs from our previous records. We've got a lot of songs now, so it's kind of tough. It's tough to, to make the set list, you know. And, uh, you know, as, as video has become kind of more prominent on the Internet this past decade, I've seen, you know, some of the videos uh, for the new record, but they're, they're more like lyric videos or kind of visual. Does, is, the, is the band kind of interested at all in doing any, like, a, like an official video for any of the tracks off High Country? Maybe, maybe, but videos are expensive and they don't really amount to much. And so, maybe. We'll see, maybe. We'll you guys see. recorded any uh, audio or video, recorded any of the tracks or any of the shows uh, on this tour? Uh, I th I'm, there might be some audio somewhere, but I, I honestly, not not us. We haven't done it. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm sure it's out there somewhere. Some, somebody, someone might have it. it. Someone has it. You know, I'm sure I've seen I've seen dudes with GoPros in the, in the audience, so I'm, I'm sure there's videos of full sets out there somewhere. And Brian, as we end out this interview, uh, let's share a little bit about what's happening tonight here at the Paper Tiger. And as I said earlier, this is our first time uh, at this venue, so we're anticipating a, a grand night. Um, also, uh, I had heard that uh, because of the band's collaboration with Real Ale out of uh, Blanco, Texas, that you guys are releasing a, a brand new beer tonight. Share a little bit with the people out there who don't know about that. Okay, so we have done another collaboration with Real Ale, um, which is an amazing brewing company, and they make... Firemans and uh, let's see, I'm trying to remember some of the other names. Uh, is it, it, do you remember any yeah, of the number? Hans Pills, I think, is another one. I just have uh, like really simple labels and it's squared. Good. Yeah, I think is another one. But uh, so we we've done now the oatmeal stout, which is available, and I believe it's a 22 ounce larger style bottle, and it's gonna be delicious. I hope. I'm gonna taste it for the first time. Very it, sort. Very. That's short. what they're selling tonight here yeah, at yeah. the Paper Tiger. Yeah, yeah. I know it's gonna be good because it's real ale. So, but I just, you know, I've got. I've never. I don't know if I've ever tried an oatmeal stout personally. I'm not much of a beer dude. Yeah, really so yeah, I, my my beer. Uh, you know, I can probably count on, on on both hands like the kinds of beers I've had. Really, you know, I just. Not not that big of a deal. So oatmeal stout, it'll be fun tonight. You know if it's uh, are they gonna have it bottled or they're they gonna have it on tap? You know I think on tap tonight, and I'm not sure about the bottle. I think there, I'm I'm sure there'll have to be some bottles, you know, somewhere. Uh, but the, there'll be an H E B's everywhere here before too much longer. That's how I, that's how I knew I made it. It, it, or how that was my barometer on like quote unquote success. making it on yeah. yeah it was my success was wow. uh, getting a product in H E B my my mom saw that and she was really really excited about that did she buy some hell yeah she bought some <laughs> yeah that's cool man all right uh, Brian I don't want to keep you any longer man any last words you want to share with the people uh, around the world who will see this interview uh, I appreciate you all enjoying the sword and enjoying our record thank you.
Remember everyone out there, the Swords brand new release is out there on Razor and Tie Records. It is called High Country. Be sure to pick it up. You saw Brian of the band right here on Rob's Metalworks.